I think this is an area in which the sort of public opinion was well ahead of the policy leaders in our country. Uh, we, you know, sort of the public understood that if we're going to maintain our position as a great economic power, that we need to make things in this country and export American-made goods, not American jobs. And sort of people knew that instinctively. And I think we're coming through a decade in which people thought for a long time, oh, you know, we're not going to manufacture. Manufacturing's dirty. Someone else is going to do that. And sort of people thought about manufacturing in a very negative way. And if a parent had a child who raised his hand in school and said, I want to be a manufacturer, there was, oh. And I think we have to change that attitude. You know, manufacturing is central to our identity as a country. It's central to our success as a world economic power. And it's critical to rebuilding the economy uh, today. And I think... There are a number of things we can do. First and foremost is the development of a national manufacturing strategy. You know, Congressman Anzula is one of the sponsors of that legislation. You know, to really set out in a smart, strategic way benchmarks and bring together the right people to set out a manufacturing strategy. I think we have to, again, correct some of our tax policies so that we're not creating incentives for people to ship American jobs overseas and instead create incentives to keep manufacturing here in our own country. I think we need to be sure that in our trade relationships that we are not allowing our trading partners to have an unfair advantage in manufacturing by manipulating their <coughs> currency. We have legislation to fix that, which some estimates uh, project will create between a half a million to two million jobs, will cost the American taxpayers nothing, but simply prevent uh, trading partners from manipulating their currency. I think we have to make investments in infrastructure, so manufacturers who rely on their ability to move goods and services and information successfully in a highly competitive global economy can do that. And so rebuilding our country, and there are some good models like the National Infrastructure Bank that will allow that to happen. Um, I think we have to be very serious about our investments in talent and understand that manufacturing that we're growing in this country is growing out of innovative, entrepreneurial um, uh, companies and individuals that are finding new solutions and new technologies and that, th that in the end, uh, the country that preserves and nurtures its best talent is going to lead the world in manufacturing. And so that is everything from Head Start to Pell Grants to vocational and technical education to workforce development um, to be sure that we have those skills, the skilled workforce necessary uh, to do this work.